Hi, I'm McCartney here. I'm again here with David. We're going to cover about bee vacuums. I built a bee vacuum. It wasn't the best bee vacuum. It worked. It worked for half a dozen, dozen or more swarms. I used it for a couple myself. And he used it. And now he has improved upon the design. Now, had I been building swarm tra uh, uh, vacuums for bees professionally, I would have gone through mul multiple variations and variants. But I built one, it worked, and I was done with it, but it wasn't very good. Let's go look at one that is better. Oh, I'm not recording. No, I am recording. Ah. <laughs> is the light all right here for this, though? Yep, it is now. Okay, this is a... <coughs> This is an eight frame box, high body, B vacuum. And I didn't bring my shop vac with me, but what I would do, I'm going to set it on the ground. So it hooks up to a shop vac just like mine? Yes. It hooks up, hooks up to a shop vac just like yours. Uh, shop vac would hook up here, plugged into the shop vac. B hose. It's on the other side here, McCartney. Let me turn it around for you. The, uh, the B hose, I've got these fittings so everything kind of just slides into place. That, that goes snug into there. And this is where I would vac vacuum the bees from. Uh, and I have a, a baffle here so I can control the airflow. I remember this was really important because if you if you don't get your baffle set correctly, you get too much suction and they get bonked pretty bad. I also remember on the bee hose, if you don't use a smooth hose and you use one of those corrugated twisty ones like, like this, yeah, this corrugated want, twisty, this. the bees get bonked all the way down and get killed on the way down. Or smooth. they'll grab on, they'll also they'll grab on the inside there occasionally. And the, if, once they grab there, then they all start balling up there. They start grabbing each other, and you'll have a big ball of bees stuck in your hose. Yeah, they so bridge. you do want the smooth hose, and I love the clear hose. This came from McCartney, and uh, I can see what's going on there. So I like that a lot. There's other hoses. You can get hoses like this that are solid in the middle, but I really like the clear hose. Uh, and the baffle, and then sometimes when I'm vacuuming, so this usually has a, a, a serious tie-down strap on Oh, wait, let's interrupt. I just got to show them your license plate, yeah? Yes, no. I, I can't see it yet. Can I show it to him? Yeah. This is just too cool. That's my license plate. Beekeep. I like it. Um, so when I show up and I've got everything hooked up and I put everything together here, this is designed where I can stand it like this even. Really? I vacuum the bees. This is still hooked up to my shop back. I'm vacuuming bees. Once I'm done vacuuming up the bees, I can lower her back down. I can pull this out, stick a sock in there, the bees can get out. Uh, you use the famous sock method too. I can unhook this, the bees can't get out here because I have screen inside there. And I drive off to my bee yard. All my bees are inside this contraption. The beauty is, once I get to the bee yard, I take this away. Oh, and all sweet. my bees are already inside a hive body. Let's do the underside of this. Okay, this is where... This flip is flip what, it upside down. This oh, is what makes it a bee vac. Screen. That's a uh, number eight? Yes. So don't use number four, because bees can go through number four screen, but they can't go through number eight. Uh, and you have extra protection with some extra... Oh, that's just that's, that's just, just sweet. so bees, if bees are flying around, they don't end up on the wrong side of the screen. A little extra screen there, the bees that are... Maybe loose. I have weather stripping around here to create create a nice tight air air seal, so I control the air instead of the bee vac. I like it. You did good. You did good. I like the design. Thank you. And if you had a very large swarm, of course, you could have two boxes on there. That's that's really what I wish I had done when I built mine, because I that monster hive I once did. I think didn't survive because I put too many bees in my container and I didn't have a secondary. I'd just take this and put it on my hive stand and inner cover and top cover and be set up there. Oh, you also decided to have foam so they don't get smashed into the into the ground yes, or they get so sucked the bees in. Come in. They can have a little bit of a soft landing there. Also they'll kind of congregate here a little bit and then crawl up into the into this chamber here is where they want to be. I'll leave some frames in there with some wax. This is an eight frame box. I have nine frames in there. It just makes it transport easier. 
without them wob wobbling around, but uh, I run eight frames in my eight frame boxes. All right, let's see if we can. So that was David's bee box. I give it a thumbs up. And now we have to get back to cutting up my tree because that's why we're really here. I had a tree fall over in a storm. So back to chainsaws. I'll see you guys.